Hi, this is JD Nyland, Product Manager for Site Catalyst. Now I would like to show you how you can customize your dashboard to meet your business needs. The first thing I'd like to show you is how you can simply add a note or an annotation to an existing reportlet. So on this monthly unique visitors reportlet, you can see that for this month, the monthly unique visitors is trending down significantly. And so I want to go ahead and add a note or a page level call out that says monthly uniques are down due to a site outage. Then what you will see is the number one will show up by that note and it will also show up by that reportlet as well. And so you can add a note for each one of these reportlets that are on the page and the notes will either appear at the top of the page or you can click on this button and move the notes to the bottom of the page depending upon how you would like to configure it. You can also modify the title. So this report that came across and it just says conversions when it's actually page views event. So I'm going to click on the title and rename that to page views. So now we're going to switch over to the page and I can see that I have four reportlets on the page. Two reportlets are specific to search and the other ones to pages. And so it's kind of odd to see these configured in this view. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the page summary, move the page search up so you can compare those, and then I'll go back over here and grab the page summary and bring them over. And that way, if you wanted to compare them head to head, you can look across the dashboard page and see where the difference is between natural search and page search, or page views and page summary, etc. Now I'm going to go over to the next page, and this is where we had the three reportlets. We expanded to see the table data. And to me, this is really busy, and you can see that I can't see all of the product descriptions. And so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to expand out this product description page. So I'm going to remove the revenue reportlet and the visitors by state reportlet. I'm going to slide this top products over and go ahead and expand it back out. And then I'm going to move it over to where it takes two thirds of the page so I can actually see the descriptions. And so you can actually see and read the full descriptions now. And so I'm going to quickly add a note or an annotation that says the gypsy hobo hit the top spot. and make an annotation for that reportlet. Now if I even want to add more text and more detail, I can come over here into my user content and I can take a plain text reportlet and drop it over here. And it's going to pop up a wizard that will allow me to create a reportlet. And so I'm going to say top products reportlet. And I'm going to say gypsy hobo is number one. And there's several formatting guidelines here that you can click on so you could actually add HTML and change the colors, etc. And so there's basic HTML support inside of this reportlet. For the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of returns in there and we'll create the new reportlet. You can see that it said top products, the Gypsy Hobo is number one. Now, you may be wondering, well, what is the Gypsy Hobo? So I'm going to go ahead and grab an image reportlet. I can drop it over, a wizard will pop up that will ask me to put in a report title. And I'm going to call this Gypsy Hobo. And it's going to ask me for a URL. So I'm going to switch over to JG Esquire's page. And I've searched for a Gypsy Hobo, and it happens to be a pink leather purse. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the image location. And I'm going to paste that in. bring in the picture of the pink gypsy hobo. Now this happens to be the gypsy leather pink hobo, so I'm going to go ahead and modify that title really quick to match. And So you can see these are the various ways that I can customize my dashboards. Now I left those other two reportlets off the page and so I'm going to quickly add those back in so I don't have any missing reportlets. So I'll add another two column page. I'll go back and add my revenue and also my visitors by state and go ahead and expand those out. So you can see these are the various ways that I can actually customize my dashboard and tailor it to my business needs.